So what we have today, we actually have our experts here. We have Splay, which is an Hello. expert overclocker. How are you yeah, doing? Great. How are you? Good, good. Nice to meet you. And we have Luis Draghi, which is part of the Intel overclocking. We have a Intel processor for the 13th generation that we're going to go overclock, and we're going to show you how much hurt room uh, does it have. Overclocking is something that we do, but once you do it, it you just want to make sure that uh, you're going to avoid your warranty, but we still like overclocking, but just keep that in mind. Once you do overclocking, it avoids your warranty. Two, once you overclock, not all processors are going to reach the same frequency. Hence, right. what we do all this uh, binning. And three, yes, we did uh, bin this processor. You can actually, so everybody can see how high, well, get an idea of how high you can get. For all those who are new about this, uh, what is overclocking? So I'll try that over to, to Luis. What is overclocking? Yeah, no, I really think overclocking is right. anybody who wants to push their system beyond the specifications with the limits, right? Any gamer, content creator who just wants to get more performance, uh, you know, from their system, uh, overclocking is for you, right? Getting every last frame you can out of your favorite game, making it run smooth. Yeah, it's it's for it's, free. Uh, for free. Yeah, free. yeah exactly. Yeah, you yeah. paid for the CPU sure. already. You might right. as well basically right. get the most out of it at that point in time. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a bunch of tools there that will help you that to do that. Well, which we'll cover that in a minute. But first of all, what? Well, so, Robbie, do you know you're an expert in this site when it comes to all the different parts. What do you need for? Uh, what are the components that you'll need for overclocking? Well, I mean, the, I mean, the, if we weren't doing liquid nitrogen overclocking, you need a lot of cooling. And, it, you know, some people think it may just be something like a custom liquid cooled system, but you can actually do it with a very, very powerful, um, very, very powerful both air cooler, right? Because we've done that with that. And we've done some overclocking even on the 12900K with like a U12A, the ice giant. Yeah. Uh, and then even a really big AIO, like a 480 millimeter or a really thick or overly powerful 360 millimeter AIO. Everybody can do it for the most part. You believe it or not, there's actually more headroom in a lot of these than you would expect. And as long as you have adequate cool cooling, uh, then you should be able to overclock. Right, Splay? That's right. You? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Good cooler. Uh, you need the K processor. And, oh, that's uh, a good point. Z motherboard, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, get Luis to go a little bit over about the new features of the XTU, so the Extreme... Uh, uh, tuning utility. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Down a little too. So we're gonna yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh oh, Thanks. here we go. Thanks, warm. Oh, Splay is gonna release the smoke. Just a, just a teaser. Just a teaser. <laughs> just a teaser. <laughs> Our extreme tuning utility. Um, we have a new version here for uh, 13th gen 7.9. And we've added you know, some new features. The X2 team's done a great job getting some new features in. You can open it up here into the more, you know, advanced view where you have Much more many advanced. more yeah. controls, <laughs> as you <laughs> see, uh, you know, for your current, your power, uh, your core, voltage controls. You can fine tune uh, now here in this new uh, visual display, yeah, your per core ratios for your performance scores, right, and, and your e-cores here and go through and, you know, overclocking is a journey, it's a process, right, understanding your system, mastering your system, uh, becoming comfortable with it. Uh, so um, the team's done a lot of great work there just to kind of make it more yep. uh, user friendly. All right, so, it's so bubbling. do we want to try a quick or uh, one button overclock? Yeah, give it a shot. Sure, yeah, well, let's, let's go back I'll give here. Give you a little time. He's gonna give you a little, little, little fix, little, little. Uh, just a sample. Just yeah, a so wait. So how do we see what we are at, and then we're. we're yeah. So right now, your default. This is your all-core gotcha. turbo. So when all your P cores are active, the default is 5.5 uh, gigahertz. So when all your E cores are active, it's uh, 4.3. So just by coming in here and hitting automatic overclock. Uh, you're going to see you know, that 4.3 go to 4.4, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it gives you an additional 20 millivolt offset. And like I said, just a, be a beginner's you know, view right here, yeah, right? Just a little nudge. Yeah, and then from there, right, you have to go and, and learn about your system and, and your, your platform, your silicon, and fine tune it to get the most out of it. And then why the placement of these fans? Like I noticed, I yeah. mean, this one is obviously pulling it, but you know, yeah, it's not right. over, et cetera. So it's worth sure. just kind of pointing that um, out. Just to pretty much draw the the cold air up in a way. If it were to just allow it to fall, cold falls, heat rises, and, and sometimes you'll get water here, stuff like that. But also using a, a heater for the back. That's right. So it'll keep it warm. And we should, you shouldn't even see any frost probably with the heater. Okay, so, and we have plenty of LN2, right? Like, yeah. just so you guys know. And we have a tank prepared. Oh, it's going. Temperature's going, going down. So we'll go to like a, like a hundred. Wow, look at it. And then we'll set some settings and then go back in and then finish when it's full. 
Now, what are you doing while we're doing the, I mean, while we're literally watching this, yeah, because yeah. this is very fascinating, but you're doing stuff too. Yeah, so this is just getting like my voltages and it's, um, adjusting some, some settings here and memory and turning off my HD audio and my LAN that what? I don't need. Yeah, it's at negative 81 right now, so we're getting ready to slam it, but he's just got to set some settings there. So that is going to drop all the way down to what? One? 110? One, 20? I was saying 170. 170, Seven. right? It's gonna, we're going to go all the way down to 170. So you, right now, you're just playing with settings to find something stable right now. This is just basically what you do. Free game stuff. And then, like, as soon as you're ready to slam it down, uh, then we we're going to change, like, one memory timing by like one so it retrains the IMC okay uh, so that uh, sometimes there's some cold issues with the memory controller yeah that but makes sense yes when it retrains once it's fully cold uh, we should be good to go it's funny because I just got finished the IMC's and playing with the, the now with DDR5 and all that sort of stuff is this is DDR5 or DDR4 board this is DDR5 okay so yeah that's like a lot with the there's a lot they've had to relearn because of the IMC changes right sure. absolutely and, yeah and we have the new XMP 3.0 for DDR5 right so uh, we're, we're pushing XMP. Now we're getting time. magical, guys. 120, one, negative 130, negative 134, it is going down. If this was a stock price, this would be really bad right now, but it's not. It's not that far from me. <laughs> 150. Let's keep going. Okay, you need another pot. You need another one. Almost. Almost. We're almost ready with pot number two. And it's, you hear that sound? That's the sound of magic, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, Roby, look. Bacon. Temperature. 180, oh, we're at 190, negative 190. So negative 192, right there, uh, good to go. And we are, in, it is now, now it'll kind of keep water, right? Uh, yeah, mostly, and then with the heater too. Yeah. So, so, okay, so now we're back to, to Windows. We're yeah, we're in Windows. And it did not like that. Okay. So we will press restart. Okay, we're gonna restart. Okay, we're gonna, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start warming up the CPU, and this is the process we always go through. Yes, you do need everything uh, when it comes to this. So this um, is a cold boot bug. Yep. Now it's not negative 180, it's uh, negative 170. Okay, there so we go. should Pretty hopefully good. get it to restart, right? There yeah. it goes. Like around 160 usually. Great question uh, that we got from chat, and this is, I think this is more point of view. Why use something like XTU over, say, for instance, your BIOS? Yeah, no, no, great question. And, you know, I, I think that the big thing there is, I mean, obviously, as you learn more and become more comfortable with the BIOS, you can certainly use the BIOS, right, pre-boot. But XTU allows you to change things in runtime, real time. You can run a benchmark or a game, right, uh, and see what the performance is and then change it on the fly and rerun it. And that's what XTU allows you to do right there without having to restart your system. We're already at eight. We're at eight. So it's like not a big deal. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so we're at eight <laughs> gigahertz. Just so you guys. I like how you said that. Yeah, you know that's, <laughs> like, not, that's, that's not eight gigahertz. Eight gigahertz. Is like, gigahertz. Yeah. yeah, that isn't even hard. Should we try for more than eight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little, a little torch us. Oh, okay. Torch. Torch. Uh, a question for you guys, while yeah. Roby. So, what kind of what is the power draw from this? So, like, what type of PSU would you need for this? Like, how much power does it need to get there to get uh, this, this overclocking? I just always buy a thousand watt. Just because you're always you're good for like a newer graphics card, stuff like that. You can never have too much power. What, what would you say? Yeah, no, a thousand is usually a good choice, especially if you're overclocking. As you're doing a great job. You're adding Thank you. High power graphics cards, right, in Oops. combination with uh, CPU, right? So you want to make sure it can run stable and has the power delivery. There we go. Okay, we're on. She's back. Woohoo! Okay, now we're dumping it again. So, someone in chat was asking, they're like, well, what are you overclocking? Well, guys, this is an i5-10.6, uh, just kidding, no, this is the i9-13900K, and we've already hit uh, 8.1, uh, so we've hit 8.1 8 gigahertz. Uh, we are doing full LN2 extreme overclocking. Extreme. We're at negative 195. So what he's doing right now is he's currently working on choosing a different core. Uh, due to the, how the processes are built, the different cores uh, perform differently. So he's trying to go, he's, I think he already zoomed in in one, but he's trying to figure it out yeah. what will be the perfect setting in order to reach that 8.2 that we're looking for. Like Roby said, we already reached 8.1, which is pretty impressive, but uh, he's just we having a lot that of fun. We know we can do more. That's what we're so doing we're right now. Right now. We are at 8.2. We are at 8.2, right. guys. Woohoo! Oh, and it is All right, definitely. high fives Eight for chances. the boy band. Okay, we're, ooh, I just put it, okay, 8-2.
<laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that is it for this segment. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, you know, it's a great insight and a great opportunity to see something not a lot of people do, but yeah. you guys keep seeing stuff where it's like world record eight gig, world record 12 gig, world right. record gig, bajillion gig. This is what they're doing when they're doing that. Right. And they have to film it to do the, uh, you know, the official ones and stuff like that. And then uh, usually you'll see those show up on Cinebench runs sure. or whatever it was to basically make sure that that is sealed, signed and delivered, right? Yeah, all those top numbers that you're seeing that you're running against, it's probably this guy right here. <laughs> exactly.